everybody thank you so much for coming back to my channel definitely um, appreciate it and hi to everybody um so for the um the candy lays this was a this was something that i saw on emmy made and i'll link her below and she used cellophane i highly recommend cellophane i don't have any to show you um but i did try a couple of other things and one of which worked for me one that didn't was this um plastic wrap from the dollar tree that you use for wrapping packages did not work at all for me may work for you if you have more patience but this stuff just did this and it was a mess so I switched to using these um, loop bags and um, so these worked okay for me I think the cellophane would probably work better but I didn't want to go to the store to get something else since I already had these and they were working the other thing you're gonna want of course um, is some curling ribbon. I just took um, a couple out of my uh, what I had for gift wrap. I don't use it anymore, and so why not use it here? And I do highly recommend cutting it up, pre-cutting it up, rather than cutting as you go. Uh, it's just so much easier if there are if you just grab a pre-cut one. Then of course whatever you want to put in your in in the lay. I put a mixture of candy and other and little toys. You want tape and scissors. So that's everything I use to make the candy lays. And what I did with the treat bags is I cut them in half to tuck them in. So that's uh, what I did here. And then I just went and did it. So I'm gonna do a couple of these and then I'll show you the ending. All right, so I'm gonna take a piece of candy. Starting with the smaller one, I learned is better. Because when you go back around to, to, to make it into a loop, you, the smaller one is easier to loop into it. So you put it there, and then you can put another candy here. And once they're in here and they're together, you can just come do a little twist. Take your tie that you've already got set out. And then tie it. Now I learned very quickly that you want to double tie these. Um, cause I thought, oh, you know, let me just tie them once and then I'll go back, I can readjust and move things around if I want to. Yeah, no. Uh, the reason for that is these little, these little slippery things come untied. You'll lift up the, uh, you'll be, ha you know, halfway through and look down and realize that the things have unwrapped themselves and you have to start all over. Yes, personal experience. All right, so then you're gonna put this next one and you're gonna pick another candy part ball. All right, so for this one, you're not gonna tie just yet. You're gonna take your next one. I found using the open end worked best for me. And you can cut the end off if you want here. This, you know, the closed end, but I found it for me, it didn't really matter. Then see what color tie I used before. Used the teal, so I'll use the white and you want to be make sure that you're you're you included both bags in the tie so that so that it holds together and you can you go back and make this you know like you do any other curling ribbon I think um, I do that all at the end though all right so then I got my next piece and then I'm gonna grab something to go in next I'm sorry I wrapped this up there we go so slide your candy or whatever item you have all the way down so you have room. And then put your next item in. In this case, I'm gonna use this toy. And you're not gonna want to um, tie it, just do a little twisty. And then get your next bag and put it in there, leave, making sure the bag overlaps. Little twisty, take the next curling ribbon, and you're gonna keep going all the way around. And I'll do just a couple more. Uh, I guess it's just a bore this, and I don't want to do too much and bore everybody. All right, and then here, and you just want to make sure that the bag goes all the way around. So I put a smaller item in here, tuck it in, a little twisty, oops, <laughs> actually tuck it inside, 
and then do a little twisty so it's in there. Get your next bag here. And slide it so that it catches a little bit of the wrap. Wrap it around so both bags are gonna get caught into the little tie. What color do I need? I need white. And keep going. All right, so here's coming to the end here. Just got the last sections to go. And we're gonna be joining these two ends. So I just want a smaller candy for now. We really don't want the same color. Let's use green. Green one in. Twist. Tie. Here. Did I tie it too twice? I'll have to fix that in a minute. <laughs> Then take the other end, there we go, tuck it around the other side, do a little twist, and take a tie, put it like so. Not. And then there you go. This is your finished one. And then set two like that. Now, if you want to, you can do what I did on this one and make it so it has like a little. Um, oh, my brain passed away. So there's like this one, but at the end of this one, it has like a, a, a charm. Um, at the very end, so it makes kind of like a necklace with a little charm at the end. So you can do it that way if you want. But anyway, here are my candy necklaces. Um, again, I'll, I'll link um, the original um, video um, content uh, Emmy made in the description below, so you can go see what, how she made hers um, and what she used in hers, because you can use all kinds of different things. And thank you so much um, for stopping by. Definitely appreciate that. Uh, hope you're having a fantastic day or evening, whichever one you happen to be watching this one on. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.